So in this video, we're going to talk about global campaigns to eradicate disease. And we'll talk about the example of smallpox. This is for your OCR A-level disease dilemmas spec, where you need to know strategies at a global level. So I'm going to talk about smallpox. And this is something that's been around since the 10th century. We can see in these pictures that there are as many examples where people have recorded smallpox. It is very visible in terms of symptoms. You get a fever, but the most obvious obvious example is the fact that people get lesions, these kind of like bumps on their body, um, which is the example of when smallpox has spread. It's an infectious disease it's spread by a virus. It's communicable and can very, very much contagious. Uh, the virus spreads through when someone has got it, they cough, the droplets go, and therefore it spreads to someone else. So it's a very... Um, impactful disease and we can see in the 20th century alone that nearly 300 to 500 people have died from this disease so it was something that organizations and world institutions wanted to deal with in terms of how we've dealt with it since the 1980s we can say that it is a disease that we've actually eradicated so um, it's the only human disease that's actually been eradicated by global institutions and beyond 1980 we can say that the um, reported smallpox cases have been below zero. Now I'm going to look into the the reasons why um, smallpox has been er eradicated and it was largely led by uh, WHO, the World Health Organization, who, who ran this smallpox eradication program between 1966 and 1980 and the way they did this was there was surveillance of communities, so they saw where smallpox cases were occurring, and they did two things. They contained those cases because they know that it obviously spreads through uh, physical contact, contagion, very, very close to each other, and then vaccinated these groups in large, um, large numbers, what we call ring vaccination. So these was this was the fundamentals of why it was eradicated in such large numbers. And we can see that it was a, a relatively successful campaign. Part of the reasons for this because there's a physical factor about it. It's very visible, it's easy to spot. If someone has got smallpox, you can see the lesions on their body. If they catch it, it's very visible. But also the other factor is that WHO led this very um, top-down heavy approach. So they coordinated a global approach. They led scientific research into the vaccine, which helped the, the vaccine get out quicker. But also they also gave really good advice on how can you isolate a community? How can you look after your citizens and, and surveil them to see if they have got the disease, which meant that it happened quicker. It was a disease that, you know, took quite a while to, to eradicate. It cost 300 million to eradicate between 1966 and 1980. But by 1980, as we can see from this headline on the left, they said smallpox was dead. That means... Without who, it wouldn't have happened. There was, there was a globally coordinate, coordinated campaign where they got funds from member states, especially those from developed country, and were able to eradicate the disease. It wasn't perfect. There was a slow process at the start where you can argue, if we're being really critical, that it didn't work right at the start. But in terms of how they actually got the full eradication of disease, it was pretty, pretty productive on a global scale.